Hey, what's up YouTube? You so hot here. Coming at you at with a different unboxing video. Um, excuse my voice if it's a little hoarse. I'm getting over a little cough. I had for a couple weeks now. Uh, I seem to get this bronchitis shit every year now. Um, hopefully it's not no chronic bronchitis, but anyway, let's get on to the good shit. Um, I'm going to be unboxing the uh, Halo um, Nika motorcycle helmet, Master Chief helmet. Um, I seem to have lost my tripod. It was a cheap tripod from eBay, a couple bucks anyway. So I'm going to have to put the phone down and slice this box open real quick. Uh, I will be a quick minute, and I might have a swig of that before I pick the phone back up. All right, guys, give me a minute. Let's slice this bad boy open. Alright guys, so let's uh, put this away, my little uh, Gerber EDC pocket knife. Um, <clears throat> let's see, let's get to it. Uh, let me turn away because there's a pack and stuff, I don't want you guys to see my address and shit. So let's put that away, put the little pack and slip away, and let's get to it. That's all this shit, it looks like dirty shit, you guys see that? It looks like all dirty shit on it. Yeah. Anyway, all right, let's pick this bad boy up. Look at that. All right, guys, here you go. Let's take a look at that. I do have my uh, daily. Um, I only have one of the motorcycle helmet, but here's my daily. Let me let you guys get a picture of that real quick. A couple of helmet stickers I got on it. Uh, it's just a cheap modular built helmet from Cycle Gear. But, uh, well, I say cheap, but it was hundred something bucks, so it wasn't that cheap. But, cheap in comparison to this. Um, you guys can Google Nika Master Chief Motorcycle Helmet and you'll know how much I paid for it. It was a fucking lot. Uh, the good thing is I ordered it from Toys R Us and I got a few bucks off because I had a coupon from Toys R Us. Uh, I ordered something for my kids, like some toys, and... They still sent them to me, and I still got them on time for Christmas, but they sent an email saying that they wouldn't be on time for Christmas, so here's a $15 credit off of any future purchases. Um, so I ended up using that. So I got it for the retail price. I think it's like $524.99, minus $15, tax-free because I shipped it, and uh, free shipping. So I just wanted to show you guys the box and all around and everything. Excuse the table, guys. It's a mess. I have two kids, two girls, so dinner table is always a mess. Um, a little bit about the helmet, man. Uh, Halo was my shit back in the day. I used to kill this game, so, um, I'm obviously not as a hard, I'm not a hardcore gamer like before, but Halo has a special spot, you know, to me. Um, Halo 1 was like my first first person shooter I killed and played, so, not the first game, just the first first person shooter I really got heavily into, so, let's get to it, boys. Oh, here we go. Let's see as far as weight wise. You know, I'm gonna put the phone down one more guys one more time. Sorry guys. One more second, guys. I'm just opening up the bag it was in, if you guys actually want to see it. I guess here you go. Here's the little bag it came in. Master Chief, motorcycle helmet. And this is a size large. Um, just as a FYI, guys, I did order two. Uh, one size large, one size extra large to see which one fits better. Just so happens I opened up the large first. So, uh, depends on what fits better. Other one I will probably end up returning. Um, actually, if you guys check eBay out, although this is like a rare um, rare helmet, there's a couple options on eBay. People are selling these for like two grand, man. Two plus grand. So, let's see. Let me flip it around for you guys. Here you guys go. 
take a seat too and take a swig of this real quick. All right, so Nika is the company who made it. What is this little plastic from the box? Uh, Nika is the company who made it. It's a semi-modular helmet. I already saw one unboxing video. I think there's only one on YouTube right now, but the top of this flips up. I'll show you guys in a second. I just want to show you guys the, I guess, the whole shot of it. Um, so it has some, like, fake battle scars, and that's pretty cool. It gives a character. Uh, let's see. What else? I don't want to rip this. This is just a sticker, guys, obviously. So I don't want to rip this off yet because I have a feeling I'm probably going to be returning this. I'm going to try on the large. And I'll try on the extra large afterwards. So here's your side view. Uh, here's the rear view. Does this actually do anything? Nope, just for show. That'd be cool if those were like real vents right there. I don't know if you guys can see it in the light. See, they're like fake vents or fo fox vents. Uh, but that'd be cool if those were real ones. I don't think I see any vents on this, actually, to be honest with you. What is this right here? I'm trying to find out. This side has it, too. I don't know. It looks like a button or some sort. But uh, here you guys go. Let's flip it up and then check it out the inside. There should be a button of some sort to flip up. Here you go, Microsoft 343 videos. Um, oh, excuse me. First and foremost, I'm pretty pumped to get this in. But after watching the review, if you guys can see in there, let me get into the light. If you guys can see into there, there's no type of padding or anything. There's no uh, chin curtain or anything like that either um and you do need the chin curtain when riding a motorcycle because all the wind's gonna just gust all up in here um i don't know i guess you could kind of maybe get a makeshift curtain to do on yourself but that's kind of weird and bootleg so it has all this padding it actually feels pretty nice too guys this padding here is a little where my left hand is right there all this padding doesn't feel all that bad uh let's see if i can flip up the helmet for you guys uh. Uh, sorry guys for the shaky cam, but I am one hand everything. Like I said, I can't find my um, tripod. So let's see if this lifts right up. Oh, yes it does. So it does lift right up. There's no um, internal shield. This, uh, the front shield is already tinted. So that might be a bit of an issue when it's, you know, riding at night. I like, you know, my uh, built helmet. I'm, this is not about the built helmet, guys. This is about the freaking motorcycle, the, the Halo helmet. But the... I love the uh, flip down, um, flip down visors. You know, like I don't know if you guys can see that. Let's see, let's lift that up right here. So I like the fact that it has a flip down visor. You know, so I don't know. I might. It works. It's awesome when you're riding towards the sun. You know, you could just put the shield up. You know, um, and then at night. I mean, uh, yeah, riding towards the sun, duh, you put the shield down, flip the shield down, but, you know, during that night, you can just flip it back up, and you got a clear, a clear shield, normal view, so that's one thing that does, that kind of bothers me, the other thing is, like, it feels weird that there's nothing in the front here, um, no chin curtain, no padding or anything, you know, like, well, I guess there's no padding on the front of the built helmet either, there's only a chin curtain, so... I don't know, it just feels like there's a big old empty space here, you know, to me. So, I don't know, in the front of it. You know, I don't know if you guys see. You see, it's just a big old empty space. The uh, padding and everything's on the sides. Um, I don't know, I like it, the gamer in me, you know. I'm, I'm not that old, but I'm not that young either, guys. I'm in my early 30s, so grew up in a generation of gaming. Um, you know, Super Nin no, Nintendo, then Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, and all that stuff, so... I grew up in that era, so obviously when I got older, it progressed into PlayStation 1 and Dreamcast and and uh, Xbox, Xbox 360, Xbox One. That's why I'm a huge Halo fan, you know? Again, Halo was the first first-person shooter I started playing, so that's why I'm so, like, hardcore into this. But uh, as a helmet, man, I want to love it, but I don't know. It's just, uh, I don't know what to say. Like, it, it just doesn't feel like, you know, 
for the money that you pay for this, it's five hundred and twenty-four dollars and ninety-nine cents. Of course, I got it for fifteen bucks less and free shipping, and you know, no tax. But for that type of money, you could get some nasty shoey helmets or a rye helmet, or um, even like there's a icon. I like this red carbon fiber halo. It's called the halo helmet, actually. Also, that's how funny and ironic it is. It's the halo carbon fiber helmet. You guys can Google that, look it up. Cost about the same price. They're like sick ass helmets for the motorcycle, you know, for motorcycling, for riding. This, I don't know, it just doesn't feel like a $500 helmet, you know. Um, it is dot approved. Let's flip it around so you guys see. Let's see, where does it say? Shit, now I feel like a dumbass for flipping around to show you guys. It is, it's definitely, there you go. Mika dot approved. So it is. Not approved, meaning it goes through a safety test, so it is safe. Um, if you were to get into an accident or whatnot, but um, it goes through safety procedures. Uh, I don't know, I think I'm gonna cut the video right about now, guys. Just my initial thoughts is you know, I don't know. Let's see, flip that up. Uh, my initial, not my initial thought, guys. I just, I'm just not sure. If it's worth 525 bucks, um, this might be a ship back to sender. I, I'm just not sure. Again, I and I ordered two. You guys see the box I had to slice open, you know, unbox and everything. There's the motorcycle helmet. There's there's the box we just opened, and then here's the second box. Like I told you, I ordered one in large and one in extra large, just in case one size fit better. Um, I don't know. I got a lot of thinking to do if I want to keep it. Or let it go. Um, like I said, the inner gamer in me definitely wants to keep it. Huge Halo fan. Um, I play Call of Duty more now. Not as much. I don't play games as much anymore. What is this? My clothes and shit and stuff is falling out of it. What is that? A piece of lint or something. This was, I guarantee this was not there earlier, guys. But what is that? It just fell out of the helmet. What the fuck? Ken, uh, guys, I'm doing this for you uh, in real time. First time unboxing. So, you'll see how my initial reactions and everything. I was expecting a wow factor, like to open it and just be like super wowed by it. Like, whoa, you know, this is definitely going to be my shit, my helmet to go to. But I I just don't have that wow factor. Again, I'm not going to peel this off because I'm probably going to end up shipping this back. Um, I don't want to try it on, for, on camera, guys. I'll probably, I'm not going to lie, though. I'll try it on and run upstairs to the bathroom and check the mirror, check myself out in the mirror. But... Again, excuse me, guys, uh, for the mess. I, I got two girls, so table's always messy, but two little girls. <clears throat> but uh, I don't know, guys. There you guys go. Get you a good look at it. I guess you guys will know when the, the riding season starts, whether I decide to keep it or not. As of right now, I really, I'm really, really not too sure if this is a keeper or not for that price. I might get a better quality motorcycle helmet. You know, this is a gaming company, or I don't think they make toys and stuff. They don't necessarily make motorcycle helmets. Maybe if they made a couple or had some help from an actual awesome company like Shui or Arai or even Nikon, you know, maybe they could have made a better helmet. But right now, I'm 50 50, guys. Um,. You guys would have to hold it and see for yourself. It just, I don't know, it looks awesome. I love Master Chief. And I will probably love the attention that I would get on the road riding this thing with this thing on. But I just can't justify. I'm not sure if I'm, this is a keeper for that price, guys. Um, I don't know. There might be two more available from Toys R Us. That's where I got it from. I might ship it back or return to the store. Large and extra large if you guys need the size. This might be a return for me, but... Just wanted to share with you guys, you know, something that I thought would be really happy with, um, an unboxing of the Nika Master Chief Motorcycle Helmet. Uh, I think I'm going to cut it here, guys. I got I got almost 15 minutes in, so here you guys go. You so hot.